I am back once again to share another video with you and my friend. Oh, hi everybody. It's Edo4 back in again with another video. And for today's topic, I'm going to be talking about our future and how they have inspired me. So the reason I'm making this video is not because it's the 10th anniversary of Goblin and black and white. It's for me to share what my influence was like while growing up in Louisiana. And then by half of that, I'm going to share with it from my Louisiana self. Now let's get started from the beginning of 10 years ago. The first journey, it begins during the summer when we went to a Texas summer park called Slitherbaum. And I saw a video called Trouble on My Mind from Pusha T and a new rapper at the time, Tyler the Creator. I understood who Pusha T was because he was from Eclipse. And the other thing I didn't know about Eclipse is that it was two people that is Pusha T and another dude. But I didn't know who Tyler was. And that's how the journey began. Like... I really liked his voice and what he looked like. And something in my mind told me during that time that I was going to see him again. So that I did from next year on Adult Swim Cartoon Network where um, I felt like seeing this was like a breath of fresh air because... Uh, there was a show I was watching called Dead Man Wonderland, and after that, it was just putting my mind into, like, a knot. So, seeing a new up-and-coming show called Litter Squad, it was really one of the best things I've ever seen. At first, I thought the show was gonna be, like, Viva La Bam, but turns out that they have also made music, too, so that's what also adds to, they made music and clothes and many other things too so that's what made it even more special by that particular time the next year is when i started to learn more about them in this interview right here this is where i started to really start to like them and understand all the members i know this is everybody's like least favorite interview because this is pretty much like trashing them but i really love the interview because i believe it in introduce everybody individually and it showed like how much a big change you know in music was and how big of an influence they were going to be right around also this time this is when wolf have came out and i remember going to school one day with uh my friends and i was like so excited to like hear on the radio that they were talking about Wolf and also seeing more of their particular videos ending up on MTV Jams as well. It felt like the most beautiful event ever that could ever happen to me. And I've also seen like other people like in Florida and also Louisiana, they were starting to dress up as it too. So that's what really felt big on me. Of course, during these times, the only problem was that I didn't really feel old enough to come to their concerts, especially the one 10 years ago, because I was just super young. You know, I wasn't 18 yet. So this is where we now going to move on for our next subject, which is concerts. Thank you, Eddie from Florida. Hey, wait, where's the jacket from the last video? Hey, yo, calm down, Edo from Louisiana. You know, I have it right here. And this is with the jacket as well. Oh, you got it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So anyway, um, the first time I've ever seen him come to Louisiana was in the year of 2015. Earl Sweatshirt was coming to Louisiana. He was touring for his album, I Don't Go Outside. So 
one day when that happened i just turned 18 uh not too long ago but my dad was taking me there and at first they couldn't let me in because i did not have an id with me at that time because i was 18 but i didn't have like an id to prove it so i had to call my dad for them to let me in and the way it turned around was I saw Nakel coming out of the tour bus and I recognized them. So if I asked my dad to, um, to, to see if he could take a picture with me. And so the conversation, it went like this. I said nervously, are you Nakel? He answered back, yes. And I asked, can I take a picture with you? And he said, yes. During that concert, I was wearing an Ed and Eddie t-shirt. I didn't wear this because I was like in fear of like what would happen since at that moment they weren't really making music anymore. So I just wore an Ed and Eddie t-shirt with the hat. And here is the picture right now. And then once that happened, we immediately got in. My dad had to be the chaperone for me. So when we got in, I had a good time. Before we go back to uh, 2015, uh, I kind of want to skip a little bit forward to uh, 2016 that explains this shirt right here. Um, I remember I've gotten this during Walmart and the next up and coming concert during that time was Cherry Bomb. And this is when Tyler was coming to Santa Cruz. My this is also where my dad was coming to spend the weekends because during that moment, during my last day of high school, I was in California. That's where I graduated too from Menlo, and this was my birthday gift of going to Santa Cruz to go see Tyler. Who else was there during that concert was ASAP Rocky, Taco, and Jasper and. Like I said, this was like a good concert that I went to too. This time, at least, my dad didn't actually have to be inside though. <laughs> and that next time was once I got to see the internet during Ego Death. And they were at the House of Blues. So I got my ID to be inside the House of Blues. And I was front row as well. And the other best news about it was not only there's a video of Moonchild, which is another group that was touring with them, was out that shows me right there in the front. But also when I was singing the songs that I know from the Internet, which was Girl, Don't Ya, and Special Affairs, that moment I got to shake. Uh, sit the kids hands uh, three times during that concert and that was the best feeling ever so um Before I get into more details of concerts. I went to during that time. I'm gonna pass that down over to Eddie Eddie from Florida. Thanks for seeing me guys from Eddie from Louisiana So right here during these concerts. This is kind of where it takes a little bit of a turn for the worse is because like my next concert I went to was uh, LSU and this is where I was in like a different college for film before I went f to Full Cell. It was during LSU and basically there was one part where they had a contest where I started dancing and I would get to see like Sid the Kid uh, backstage and the thing of what was going on was is that they took like a long while to get there but you know I understand and it's not really their fault because you know they're coming from California all the way to Louisiana so I could understand why that could take a while and then once the concert was finally over it was just where I my brain just decided not to go backstage even though there was like a free opportunity so I deeply apologize to Sid the Kid and the internet, rest of the internet members for missing that opportunity to basically, you know, get to talk to you and everything. And this is where, uh, this is one of my, my last concerts I went to. And that's possibly like one of the worst ones for at that rate. 
So the last concert I went to, I went to this particular concert because I've had a dream where I would meet Tyler at this event called Three Points. And so that's where, um, that's, that's what I dreamt about. And that's where I started to, um, ask my parents as I could go to Miami to three points. And, you know, once I gotten there, the VIP tickets that I thought I had to basically meet them, uh, the internet, the beach house and other people who were also there was P riot and, uh, Yangi from 88 rising turns out it was just a place for me to just another place to visit so that's what got me like deeply upset and i started to realize that i feel much more comfortable if i was in front of them working around with them instead of just like being in live concerts and really i actually thought that would make a bit of a change because i uh, during that trip i like packed up pretty much everything like almost to the point where i could have packed up like pills and blankets just because that's where i was thinking this is where my new life was heading but unfortunately it didn't get to that and then after the concert you know i had to leave because you know i it wasn't even anything wrong with the concert i was just personally myself i just couldn't take it anymore because of the impact of what happened and i just had to go home and so I waited, uh, I waited at the airport and, um, you know, I cried and then I just waited until I got home because I think that took like, um, about eight hours till the morning for me to get home. And then once I got home, I just went to sleep like for 12 hours and, uh, that's how, that's how that the whole day ended. And yeah, that was it was, it was a bad experience, man. But what I really realized is that I had to find, you know, more within myself. And I believe uh, my 19-year-old self and Edo from Louisiana can explain this a whole lot more. Their rhymes influenced me so much to not only, like, engage myself with my own lyrics. I also started to... um make some beats and songs into logic right here while being into the music program and also these guys right here also inspired me for more writing and musical style as well yes thank you uh edo from louisiana and odd future if you guys are watching this i just want to say you know thank you for you guys being here and spreading the messages that you do because a lot of things that they say, this is exactly like what I wanted to say, even though I know most of their messages were off the wall and pretty raunchy. But these were like really things I wanted to say, especially, you know, a man like a, a guy like me, you know, growing up with autism and being like the same expression of a skin color and not really feeling like, you know, I belonged anywhere, even though like in school, you know, a lot of people talk to me, but you know, I didn't really have like those friends. I connect, like we connect with certain things, but not everything. Like I specifically want, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, to end this video for today, the shout outs is going to, uh, my new subscriber, Taku, Kishia, Honest, Marina Ultra 555, Tunkun, Daichi Mura's favorite YouTuber, Chuck Dewey, Xavier Payne, and Moonchild. And on that note, I would like to uh, give not just a shout out, but early and late birthdays to all the Odd Future member crew that I have here on the list, which is... Happy late birthday to Tyler, the creator. Happy late birthday to Earl Sweatshirt. Happy early birthday to Jasper Dolphin, Taco Bennett, Lionel Boyce, Haji Beats, Left Brain. Happy late birthday to Damo Genesis, Mike G, The Internet, Cali Uches, Vince Staple, Frank Ocean, and 
happy early and late birthday to Illegal Steve as well. And also, before I end the video, there are some videos that also made from Odd Future during 2013 all the way to 18. And also on that note, here is this picture that I made from Photoshop. And it was for uh, Mellow Hype if they had like another album called, I called it By The Numbers. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Now I got to go. But I will see you in the next video. So I can understand. So, uh... Ooh, hold on, let me research that real quick. I can't believe I forgot that. Yeah.